Hi everybody, welcome to the Rockland Youth Dance Ensemble's committee meeting. We are all here with Mrs. Frankel and we're so excited to do our Nutcracker Performance Reimagined 2020. So let me just introduce everybody. We have Diane with us. Hello everybody, it's good to be with you. And we have Charlene Yan. We have Emily Antoine. We have Julie Schwartz, we have Dawn Holt, we have Gina DeFelice, we have Melissa Lucido, and Gil Giannini. So we wanted to give everybody a little bit of information about the different committees that you can join and volunteer for this year. So I'm going to start off. I have three different things that you can help us with. The first one we are looking for corporate sponsorships. There are many big corporations in Rockland County who do have money set aside to give arts organizations or any of the organizations, non-for-profits in the county. We uh, would like to be able to tap into some of that money to help support our dancers. Um, and a lot of us just are so busy we don't have the time to call around and, and get these resources started. So I was looking for between five and eight people to raise $5,000, that's your challenge, to go to different corporations in the county and see what you can get out of them. That could be money donations or thing donations. So for example, insurance companies, banks, grocery st stores, O&R, Suez, and of any big corporations like that who are willing to give us something to help this production. As you know, this is going to be a totally different year. Uh, we w are going on location. It's a secret location at the moment, but all will be revealed soon. But we're going to need things at the location for the dancers to make this worthwhile. Um, Heating supplies, possibly a generator, various things like this. So if you know somebody that's in the business of building, you could maybe get them to donate some money or, or, or objects for us that we can use. And we will certainly create a list for you of things that we're going to need. So five to eight people, your challenge is $5,000. If you, if you like to go and uh, speak to people, and talk about the organization, we would love for you to do that. The next one up, the next committee, which I am going to, um, anybody that joins this committee will be invited to my house for drinks afterwards because this is the cleaning committee. So we are going to have to clean this venue. There are windows that will be need to be windexed, the floors that need to be vacuumed and various other things, dirt to be picked up. So if you would like to come to my house for cocktails, please come with me on this, the designated day to come and clean this venue. And it will be a lot of fun, I promise. I play really good music when I clean, so we'll all get together <laughs> and we'll clean. And the third thing is we're going to have to work um, in and around the regulations of COVID. So we are creating a position that we probably will use over and over again um, called a safety manager. And the safety manager will be responsible to make sure that all the students remain safe prior, during, after rehearsals at the studio and also at this location. So we're looking for family members who would come and be a part of uh, the shoot and just be responsible to keep everybody safe. So that's something else that we're looking for. Um, and if you have questions about any of these committees, you can email me at info at Rockland Youth Dance Ensemble and I will fill you in. Uh, dates to be determined once we've done gone through our audition process will give you more information. So I'm going to pass you over to Charlene now, and she's going to talk a little bit about what we need as in the sewing department. Hello. So I am Charlene. Um, this is my fifth Nutcracker with Ride, um, and I am in charge of the sewing and the costumes. So what we are looking for this year is help with 
Um, a lot of small hand sewing. So anyone who could hand sew, um, do a quick hem, some buttons, some snaps. Um, I'm also going to need help with fittings. Um, because of the situation we're in right now, we're obviously very limited to the amount of people that we have in the studios. But I will need help, um, maybe one or two volunteers, um, depending on the number of children that come in for a particular fitting, um, to help organize the children and help get costumes on um, so we can get them in safely and out quickly. Um, and we're also going to need help on the set for the shoots, um, just in case there's anything that's broken or a quick hem that needs to happen on the set. Um, I'm going to need help with that as well. So any volunteers who can hand sew uh, or knit um, will be extremely helpful. And if you can sew with machine, even better. Um, that would that would pretty much cover everything that I need, right? Um, we're going on to Emily, wardrobe. Go ahead, Em. So we have a new name called wardrobe. And the fun thing this year, like last year, you can sign up for multiple committees. So if you've already heard five committees and you're like, I want to be on all of them, please sign up for all of them. Because you can't, because of the fact that we're going to be doing things differently, there are options to do them. For us, it's going to look um, somewhat different, somewhat the same. We'll still be like, Ironing night will still exist. We can't ever forget ironing time. But then we also have to make sure that we get the kids ready to be on stage. We're that last person that does the double check before they're ready to go. So we will probably need some help at different times, but it'll become more clear as we get further along in the process. That's great. Thank you. Gina and Gil, can you talk a little Gil. bit about crew backs and uh, stage dressing, set dressing? Hi all, I'm Gil, and where's Gina? I'm here. Gina, uh, we're, we're heading the uh, production crew. Uh, again, this is, will be slightly different than all other years. Uh, our jobs will still be behind the scenes, um, dressing sets, uh, decorating the venues, delivering equipment to and from the venues. Um, there's still a lot to be discussed as to exactly what we will be moving but we really need your help to um, bring equipment. If you know how to decorate a house for Christmas, you're, you're welcome to come. Um, um, we will be um, of, need to be available during the photo shoots again if something breaks or something needs to be moved or something needs to be fixed. So basically it's working behind the scenes different from the past years, but we will be there to, again, make the magic happen in the background. Great, thank you, thank you. We're on, Gina, do you want to add anything or are you? Well, I was just gonna say that um, because it's uh, gonna be filmed in f when the dancers are ready, it's not gonna be like in years past where we need to have, you know, this many people all at the same time to do strike and loadout or whatever. So there will be a lot of opportunity for flexibility if you're, it's not like you have to be available for that just one weekend. So you might have more freedom to help out with the technical crew than, than you had in years past, just because of how it's going to be done sort of asynchronously. Great. Thank you for that. Um, let's go to Dawn and Missy with our fundraiser. So I'm skipping around a little. So Missy and Gina and John Donahue and I are heading up the fundraising committee. Um, again, we're doing things a little differently. We probably will not have flowers and boutiques, things like that, but we're going to be doing different fundraisers. So you may have seen already, we're doing a rehearsal t-shirt um, and you can order that. You can have it shipped to your house or you can have it shipped to John Donahue. And um, that's one way to support us. We're also going to be doing a bake sale, so we'll need some volunteers to work the table and maybe to bake something. Um, so we'll definitely need volunteers for that. We are also doing some photo shoots um, by one of our parents, Michelle Kiley, is um, taking some beautiful pictures, so you could support us in that way and have some great photos. 
And we're also going to be doing a special sale at the um, Nutcracker auditions for uh, the Yumiko leotards. So we may need a few volunteers to help out with setting up. And um, so we'll be getting back to you with those things. Missy, do you have something else? No, we were also thinking about, you know, trying to do something fun for the kids while they're in rehearsals by doing maybe like a Nutcracker gram. So we're always, you know, our brains are always growing and we work as a collaborative uh, group to constantly come up with new ideas to try and help raise funds to help ride. And, and especially for this year with, with uh, what's being attempted is huge and wonderful and very inspiring. So we want to try to help make it as best as we can. Great. And last but not least, we have Julie Schwartz, who's going to talk a little bit about something new. Yes. Um, the something new, aside from the basic starting point of new, which is we're filming this. Um, <laughs> we uh, usually when I talk to you, I'm talking to you about the playbill and there won't be that because there won't be an audience sitting in a theater but we're gonna go one better and produce a full color souvenir program, very much like what you might get um, purchase at a Broadway show that will include some beautiful photographs, a lot of historical photographs, um, and there will be plenty of room for your advertisement to support your dancer and the company and what's going to be really special about this is that it's probably going to be twice as big as the playbill you're used to seeing in terms of real estate um not twice as many pages but just a bigger page and we are thinking about doing it in color which could also be um pretty special for your ads to um show up in color in addition to the souvenir book and the mechanics of that are still to be worked out. Um, we will, our thought is to, and our plan is to include all of your ads in the credits of the final um, version of the film so that when the credits roll, you'll see it again. Um, this would be an important fundraising effort just like it is every year to purchase an ad and um, to purchase a book. And the exact details of that are still to be worked out, but will be known fairly soon. And one of the other things that's going to be new about this, you, similar to signing up for an audition, which was done completely online, um, we will be moving towards that same process for purchasing an ad, purchasing a book, pre-ordering um, online with a form, with a way to upload your ad and with a way for you to pay for your ad online through the PayPal um, gateway, just like you did to pay the audition fee. Um, this is definitely a safety feature because it's one less contact point and it's a lot more streamlined and um, we hope that it will um, work well for everybody. Um, I'm not so much calling for volunteers at this point as just want to let people know that this exciting new thing is happening and encourage you to um, buy an ad like you always do and support Ride and the dancers. Thank you. Did I leave anything out? I don't think so. Thank okay. you so much. And Diane's going to just in, do a little chat. In, in reaching out to um, volunteers and contributors, just so they know, this is the 41st year of the Nutcracker. And also, it's uh, what was started with Coupe. This is the 50th year that Coupe has been in business in Rockland County. And I thank everybody for their help. Thank you. That's great. So uh, if anybody has anything else, we can... Speak. Are we going to tell them how to sign up? Um, for volunteering? Yes. Um, okay. Along with Emily, Emily is going to be developing a Google form that you can fill out to sign up. And uh, that will also be facilitated through the website. Um, and once that's up and running and the 
um, the link is there. I think um, an email to um, share the link would be the way to get that started. But that's also going to totally be handled online. Right, Emily? Yes, it'll have information just like you normally do. It'll be your contact information, your child's name, um, and then there'll be a little drop down with all the committee names. So that's why I said this year, just like we did last year, you might want to help out Gil on one day, help Charlene another day, um, or, or, and then go to happy hour at Allison's house. It's all up to you. <laughs> Um, so you aren't limited. And the nice thing is, is this will be over a longer period of time where in the past you kind of like put your life on hold for that two weeks around Nutcracker. It's going to be in and out in different times. So some people that might have felt a lot of stress of everything happening, it's going to be a little more different and laid back and flexible. So feel free to sign up for as many committees as you want. Um, again, I know we had some people that one parent would work with Charlene and I, a other parent would work with Gil. So you can split up the hours however you want and then it is we're looking to do what 10 hours per child and then we are getting a little ambitious and crazy so Julie and I and a couple others are going to try to work a way for you to submit your hours digitally as well so that way at the end of the day everybody has everything done the show comes off without a hitch and all the kids end up with this fantastic experience that's a silver lining of everything that's happened that's great Totally agreed. A silver lining at the end of this 2020 year is what we're looking for and looking forward to. So if anybody can do it, this team sitting around Diane and I, we, together we're going to do this and with all your help, we will get this done for the kids. So we're really, really excited and thank you again for uh, all your, your help and hard work to make this happen. Anybody else want to say anything before we sign off? All right. So, thank you. Yeah, from Diane and I, thank you so much. We will see you soon. And stay happy safe. nutcracker. Stay safe. Yes. Thank you. Thank All you. Right.